Pomegranate Flowers Lam was a boy who lost his father at a very young age. As days went by, the boy grew up with his mother, having a quiet life in the peaceful countryside. As a child, Lam loved to play soccer. <laughs> Whenever he saw his friends playing soccer together in the field, his eyes seemed to sparkle. Mommy, Mommy, will you let me play with my friends for a while, please? Sure, my dear. Let me take care of the buffalo for you. You go play with them kids. Okay, Mom. Just go home. I'll see you later. This little boy, you are only quick at this. Realizing her son's passion, Lam's mother never refused to let him have fun taking part in soccer games with his friends. Whenever Lam saw a soccer game, he always rushed to the field to watch it as if he were being bewitched by it. Lam! Lam! It's time to go home. What are you running to that house for? So there it was again. It was all about soccer. No wonder he got so excited. Every time he watched soccer, a whole new world seemed to be opened before the eyes of a poor boy. Lam's face seemed to brighten up all the time. Oh gosh, you were drawing balls again. What about your schoolwork? Okay, all right. I'm going back to my schoolwork right away. My boy, you really love soccer, don't you? I can tell that you have already nurtured your passion for the sport, so I am very supportive of it. In the future, try to contribute something to soccer, will you? But first, my sweetie, you need to focus on your studying at school. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. Even in the future, I will still love soccer. I love it so, so, so much. Then there will be nothing left for you to buy me food. Or you can become a soccer player or set up a soccer fund for impoverished children. Just be determined. Sure, Mom. Many years later. Lam, Lam. What are you doing this time? Don't do that, boy. Lam, Lam, just stop. You have literally taken everything in this house. I'm begging you, stop doing soccer betting. Just get out of it. <laughs> Mom, just let go of me. You're such a nuisance. My son's temperament has changed as he gets older. Every day, he just plays around for no good. The number of times we have warm meals together is getting smaller. I long for seeing you every day, but it's always like that. There's just me in this lonely house and cold meals. I wonder where you are now. My boy, are you home? Have your meal. You must be starving, right? Mom, just give me the money. What money? The money that you save for my studying in university and training to become a soccer player. Eventually, you will have to give it to me. Stop clinging to that amount of money. It's true that I have been saving that money for you, but it should be spent on your passion, not for you to use it to do gambling. Oh gosh, why can't you understand it? Whatever it is safe for, it's still for me. Didn't you say that I should follow my passion for soccer? Girl, what I do now is pretty much... But she she must soccer, 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 no, soccer, my boy. Soccer. Those are two different things. I used to be delighted that you had a passion, but I want you to turn that passion into good dreams and do righteous things. You're letting your passion go astray. Are you aware of that? Oh my god, I can't take it anymore. I have to listen to your lectures all day long. You know that I am so sick of it. I that's it. I think you only know lecturing if I swear I'm not as good as good as good as good as good. Lam, you are leaving again. Just stay home with me. My boy, when will you understand my heart? 
when will you repent for what you have done? What's wrong? Who are you people? This, this shirt belongs to my son. We don't want to talk much about this. Your son is buried in so much debt and is now in our hands. By tomorrow noon, if you don't pay all his debts, then I can't guarantee your son's safety any longer. You can find the loan agreement in his pocket. Just see it for yourself. <laughs> Where is my son? Just hand over the money. Your son will return safely. I have to hand it to you. You're really good, managing to have such a huge amount of money. I even had to sell my house to get the money. I don't have anything valuable left but my son. Please, don't hurt him. See, Mom? You just keep choosing the hard way. I've been asking you to give the money, but you are so stubborn. Why do you have to make me so cruel to you? Thanks, guys. Just chill. I'll give you the amount that I promised. What is this all about? You dare, you dare to fool me. I thought you were... Oh, no. You've been fooled by your own son, you old woman. You just found out by now. <laughs> Lucky for you, the debt has been paid. Otherwise, we would have finished him. You better start saving for your life in a nursing home. Lamb, your son, <laughs> he's so screwed up now. Stop. Stop right there. You can't get away with this. After a while, he got into debt again. He was chased after by debt collectors having nowhere else to hide. Where is he? We must find him. He'll be dead with us if he doesn't pay his debt. That way, guys. Those scumbags. Can't believe they treated me like that. Damn! But it's my fault anyway. Oh no, all those debts are piling up. This day finally came. I still can't believe this. I'm so tired and starving. I've got no strength left. What is that? Mommy, Mommy, that smells so yummy. I'm so hungry, Mommy. It's the new sticky rice. I've also added sweet gourd. I'm sure it'll be very delicious. Just wait a little bit longer and I'll get you some to eat. Okay, Mommy. Is it good? It's super delicious, Mom. You make the best sticky rice in the world. Mom, have a bite, my baby. You look so spaced out. You must be starving. Gazing at those red pomegranate flowers, Mom thought they were a warm handful of sticky rice that his mother made him. And the moment the sticky and bitter liquid of the flowers reached his tongue, Lamb realized he had mistaken. Well, my little lamb has grown so much this year. Soon you will grow out of my arms. I will grow much, much bigger than now. I will even be taller than you. Then I will hold you tight and warm you. That's right. When I grow old, my little lamb will be my support. So you need to eat a lot to grow up quickly, got it? I got it, Mommy. Then I will have two more toasted sweet potatoes. Mom, Mommy, where are you? It's been such a long time since I was with you. I'm such a bad person, a terrible son. They are after me. I don't know if I can bear living with them anymore. I know I was wrong. What should I do now, Mom? Are you still at home? Are you okay? What is this? Have I got lost? My house. Mr. Mr. I thought this was Mrs. Nan's house. Where is it now? Who are you? Haven't you heard? Gosh, that poor old lady. Her son is so spoiled. He got into trouble with his compulsive gambling and took all of her money. He even tricked her into selling the entire property. I have heard that already, but I thought she only sold part of it, not the whole property. <laughs> Just part of it didn't do. Her son owes so much money. At first, she intended to sell only half the house, but she was afraid that he would be beaten to death by debt collectors, so she decided to go ahead and sell the entire house. Then, where is Mrs. Nan now? She lives in a makeshift tent near the village's cemetery. Mom! 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 
I'm so sorry, I lost my way. It's me, Lamb, your son. Oh, no, my baby. How come you are covered with so much blood? Did they beat you again? Oh, no, my baby. No, Mom, I'm not hurt. It's just pomegranate flowers. Just pomegranate flowers, Mom. I'm hungry. My poor child. You must have been so hungry that you had to eat pomegranate flowers. Mom. All right, baby. Mom's here. Let me make you something to eat from today. Don't lose your way, okay? Yes, Mom. From now on, I will change. I will definitely change. Thank <laughs> you.